Hi everyone, it's day 24 of the online football coaching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it so far. Thanks for kind of sticking with us over the last few weeks or so. Uh, for those of you that are new, it's really easy. All you need is a little bit of space. Um, you can do it indoors or outdoors, just make sure you're not going to uh, fall over and hurt your head. Um, we've got a couple of uh, exercises today. The first two are real leg burners. They're gonna absolutely ache tomorrow morning. And the final one is uh, we end on a combination, which hopefully you'll like. Uh, but other than that, you're only going to need two things. Uh, one of these is a football and a little bit of this. Guitar. And that's it. Let's get going, boys. On to the first recap from last week. And that's, of course, the soul roll. As you can see, the lads there are kind of passing the ball from left to right using the soul, the soul which is the bottom, bottom part of the foot. Very good. Uh, really important you stay on tiptoes when you do this. You find it a lot easier. Um, this is a drill we've done quite a few times before. It should be, so, it should be second nature to a lot of you. Uh, but obviously, if you, if you want to go a bit more detail on how we do it, check out the video on Friday. So we'll do uh, just do kind of 10 seconds nice and slowly, lads, and then we'll pick up the pace. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Nice and slow. <laughs> Have a drink. On to the second recap, warm up of the day, and this is uh, outside reverse V's. So, if it's asked the lad to stop the football for two seconds, so what we're trying to do is create a V on the floor with your football. And the reason we call it um, reverse is because your the foot is come, your left foot is coming across the body, rolls it back. And the really reason we call it outside is because you then tap in the ball with the outside of your left foot, and then you repeat it. So the right foot comes across, rolls it back, little touch with the right foot. So I hope you get the idea. But as, as I explained before, if you want to go into the video on uh, day twenty three, whenever it was, um, we go into a bit more detail. So 15 seconds nice and slow lads, 15 seconds half speed and 15 seconds fast as you can, okay? okay. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Just get used to the thing with it. And onto the final warm up of the day. This is the roll stop step over. So it has three parts. If I ask the lads to just kind of slow it down, we'll, um, we'll talk you through it. So the first bit is the roll. Okay. Second bit is the stop. And the final bit is the step over. So the foot that you, you roll with is the foot that you step over with. 
So Aiden at the back is doing the roll with his right foot and then he stops it with his left foot and he does a step over with his right foot. And Noel at the front is doing a, step, a roll with the left, stop it with the right and a step over with the left. Hopefully that is that makes sense. Same as usual, 15 seconds slow, 15 seconds half pace and 15 seconds fast as you can lads, okay? Yeah? So five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good work, lads. Well done. On to the first exercise of the day, and this is, I think, something called outside taps. We did it in the first week, I believe, and it's a horrible exercise. I have to be honest with you. It is. It's not nice at all, and if it's, it's a good workout on the standing leg. So the idea is, um, you start with the football in front of you, as always, and you're gonna to touch the ball on the outside of your foot, then the inside, and then the outside, then the inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. So ideally, you wanna keep the football fairly still. It is difficult, and it's really important that the standing leg that you hop, if you don't hop, if you stand still, if you've got a bent leg, I promise you'll fall over really quickly. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. This is a real workout for the legs. So because we have to, uh, because it's important to uh, work on both legs at the same time, or both legs equally, both feet equally, excuse me, we'll do uh, 15 seconds on the right foot, 15 seconds left, nice and slow, is that okay? And then we'll up the pace, but we'll keep switching between right and left foot. So, so we're gonna start with right foot first, boys. Yeah? So on the left leg is gonna be your hopping leg. I'll give you a five second countdown, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice and slow now. Switch, half pace. Switch right foot fast as you can then. And I 
think we'll call it a day. It's so tiring, isn't it? It's really, really tough on the legs. Go and get a drink, well deserved. On to the second exercise of the day, and this is another leg burner, unfortunately. Uh, Niall coined this, the circular roll. Um, we haven't, we've, haven't seen it anywhere before, to be honest with you. Um, so he thinks he invented it, who am I to argue? And the idea is, just hold it there a second, Niall. So um, similar to the exercise you did before, you're standing on one leg, and this time you're moving the football around the body, but only using the sole of your foot. And as with the exercise before, it's really important that you hop. Otherwise, obviously, you'll get your legs tied up in knots and fall on the floor. And of course, don't keep going round in the same direction. We'll do 10 seconds one way or 15 seconds one way, 15 seconds the other. Otherwise, you will fall in a heap. Is that okay now? So we'll go nice and slow to start with. Can you go right foot or left foot? Uh, left foot this time. Left foot this time. Okay, let's go then. Oh, sorry, I, need, I didn't give you a countdown, did I? Apologies. So five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs now. legs half pace. And switch again, last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Fast you can, your left side now. Right side now. Hold it there. Good effort. Get a drink now. Well done. And the final exercise of the day is a combination move. So it's the sole drag, sorry, excuse me, it's the La Croqueta drag stop. So there's two parts to it, there's two moves. The first one is the La Croqueta, really devastating move that Andres Iniesta used, or used, to, used to use to devastate an effect. And the second part of it is the drag stop. That's what a drag stop looks like, okay. Now the, re the, the point of the drag stop is to pretend to the opposition that you go in the way of that your foot starts to go, or in actual fact, the foot comes over the ball and stops it dead. So it's all about buying yourself a bit of space, a bit of time, okay? Now what we noticed in the warm up just earlier was that if you, if you try to stop immediately after the drag stop, you end up with your legs, uh, you end up cross-legged and you'll fall over. So make sure you have a quick step just afterwards, just to set yourself. So do it one more time, Laz, let's do La Croqueta. You want to go on the left, Nade on the right? La Croqueta first. And then the drag stop. Then a step to set yourself. Okay, and other way around then. So La Croqueta start with, drag stop. Very good. Okay, you only need to go at your own pace. This is quite a technical exercise. So don't feel that you need to um, go at super speed. You just go with what, what speed works for you. Is that okay, boys? Yep. Okay. So five, four, three, two, one. Walk in pace. Nice and slow. Get used to it. Pick the 
Thanks for that. Let's get yourself a drink. Okay. On to the final exercise of the day. This is, of course, the competition. So I think most people that have been with us for a while now know how, the, uh, know how this works, but for anyone that's new, really simple, just uh, touch the ball with any part of your foot as many times as you can in a minute. And the only rule is you can't keep touching it with the same part of your foot. Let's see what that looks like, boys. Okay, so that doesn't count at all. And uh, let's see what a couple of seconds didn't properly looks like. Okay, so you get the idea. So as many times as you can in a minute, I'll give you a five second countdown, five, Four, three, two, one, let's go. Hold it there. Very good. Very good. I'm not too sure that was a minute actually. But anyway, how did you get on today? Aizen? Oh, 198. 198. Niall? 301. 301. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure I believe that. But anyway, good scores either way, boys. I hope you enjoyed the football today. Do let me know how you got on. Make sure you put your score in the comments below. And if you didn't beat your high score, let me know and I'll add you to the league table. Uh, other than that, if you're watching us on YouTube, give us a like and hit subscribe. And if you're watching us on Facebook, please remember to tell your friends about the Home Football Coaching Group. Uh, I think that's it. Let's uh, We'll see you tomorrow for the live competition. Say bye, boys. Bye. bye.